Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sea Monkey Games channel. We will be host Sea Monkey Games and here we are back with it with more Sly 4 and now we've made it to Saudi Arabia and we're gonna start the mission up with Sly. What's up? Let's ho. Let's go. Ancient Arabia 1001 AD. Ow. Stupid scorpions. But look at this music. I mean, well, listen, you can't see music. But hear this music. Look at this area. It's so high, rich in color, purple skies, and this nice, beautiful, hazy sunset. Oh my god, just. Uh, it's, it looks really good. Honestly, I thought they were going to do one more, but I thought they were going to do um, Egypt next, but they didn't. They, that was going to be the planned DLC, actually, but they canceled it. So, oh, God. Uh, uh, what happened to the music? Okay, Sly. Word what happened to the music? No! My music! We need to figure out where he's hiding and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data no. from your ancestors, I've been able to fast the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculars with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which the Lee Al Cooper may have come in contact. Of course. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. Oh my god. The music. It's gone. No! Of all the areas to do that with. You do that with this one? You. Oh, God. That actually really sucks. The music's gone. Wow. I wonder if the Lee was No, they're going to music at least. Ooh, snake. Activate your binoculum and scan the surrounding areas. You should see a glow on any object that Salim has recently touched. Give me a mistake. Fingerprints. Sly, that door definitely does not belong here. You better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Of course. Strange door. Perfect name. Okay, Sly, you should get out of there and head for the village while I sort this out. I've marked a waypoint for you. Oh. I still need some more data, Sly. Keep searching. Alright, I still got music playing. Thank God. Cause I'm like, what happened to my music, man? I can't accept. I'm gonna go over here first, because it's the furthest away. <laughs> Okay, get up here. Let's uh, avoid that. Uh, sl that's a lizard. I'm about to say slithering friend. Mike, he's a lizard though. He don't slither. He hisses, but he doesn't slither. I'm picking something up. Put your binoculum on, Sly. Footprints. Oh, it's. Way on the other side. Oh god. Sly, turn around! You're going the wrong direction! Sly, turn around! You're going the wrong direction! Okay then, Bentley. Where am I going then, since you know so much? Are you happy now? There. Shut up. I don't want you talking no more. I bet you use that part to them. Never mind. Oh, come on. Get off me. Why are you playing this music? This is from the ice area. This is this is from the ice age. It's not from here. Oh, leave me alone now. Of course, it's way up there. 
Ooh, it's a cat. Ooh. A female villain? A guard, I mean? Fly, there's something close by. Use your binoculars. Where? In case you haven't noticed, I didn't see anything. Oh, it's a... Okay. It's a well, cone. Obviously not neglecting his grooming. Just because he comes his mustache does not mean he is... a freaking... Uh, he's grooming that well. And we could just cut the... Uh, comb the hair and just say, Oh, well, I, I'm grooming myself. I mean, I don't know that, but what do I know? Uh huh. Shut up. Sly, there's something close by. Use your binoculars. Sly, Sly, there's something right there. Sly, Sly, oh my God, Sly, 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 Sly. You have to look there, Sly, 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 Sly. I love you, Sly, Sly. Ah, way too close. I guess not. Uh huh. Okay, Sly. I'm collating all the data, and it appears Sleep is on a boat. He's on a boat. Ooh, about to meet a boy, or my boy. Come on. Let's do this. Sly should be more excited. He's meeting his freaking ancestors, and he's like, "Oh well, whatever. This is just a day in a job." I'm like, "What? The disrespect? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. He has shinies. Give me, give me pearl earring. Ah, shut up. All right, he's on this lucrative boat." Get in there. Greetings. You're Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, <laughs> well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but keep your turban on. Town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go nick a camel's hat? <laughs> okay. Damn. Look, he's cold. He's quick with that insults. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Hey, he quick about that food, man. He's hungry. The game just don't. Okay. More horrible cutscene? Of course it is. Hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. Ew. He told us Eat the whole cake whole. Nasty Some fuck. player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, yeah, was she work. had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some I get these pictures information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Damn. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an That's extreme like blood. temper, made for a volatile combination. Why don't you stick your Sorry, trunk out like that saying, put that in my trunk? She was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. How? She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Yep. She look at something over there. He's just like, uh, I'm not giving this food away. I'm gonna keep all this myself. 
All right. Now I have to head for the next mission. Open sesame. Sesame? Oh, you talking about sesame chicken? Man, I've been wanting some Chinese food. Seriously, I've been craving some Chinese food for August right now. You know, everything being closed and all, can't really go there now, can I? <clears throat> anyway, enough about real life problems. Let's go ahead and play this mission before we can do in game problems. Yeah. Already with the okay. with the Bentley Apparently briefing. Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. Is he? His place is a fortress, and he never leaves. Of course he don't. He doing the right thing though. He's staying in indoors. Store. He ain't trying to go outside and mess with these people and get sick. One time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. No, you never. Can imagine his price is pretty steep. It's the not. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Oh well. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. I will not. I swear with all that, uh, I gotta get gems? This goon wants gems? He won't get gems. This kind of reminds me of Sly 2 when you had to get that ruby for uh, that one person in the uh, jungle area. Yeah, I remember. Oh, God! What the hell? Is this alive? Ew! Flawless gem! I like that music, though, but that thing's alive? Hell no. That thing scared the hell out of me. My his eyes just stretched, and I'm like, whoa! What the hell is that? Something I don't want to know about. I truly wish to not know any more about wherever that was. Too bad I have to do two more! Well, like, do not fall in the water, because then you have to start all over, and I don't want to do it again. Ah. Come on. That is some creepy ass shit. I mean, that's just don't even feel right. Yeah, come on. Follow us, Jim. Alright, uh, jump on that. Gotta just. Oh, hello, snake. Bye, snake. Just like, uh, India. Yeah. Just like India, it was those snakes that come out. Just like that. I'll keep my comment to myself about what I was just thinking. Uh, I was thinking about something. I was like, I'm not going to say that. That'd be a little offensive. And I'm like, eh, why say it, you know? My nose is itchy now. I feel like I got a sneeze. Turn around. Turn around. Pick my ruby. And I'm gonna stick my tongue back in my throat like a snake or something. Follow us, Jim. Alright, well, just make sure you get those gems to the shop in one piece. Whoa, whoa, where'd the gems go? Oh. Oh, right, did he put it in his book bag? But it has a paraglider in there. I doubt it could fit anything else. Kick that door open. Hell yeah. What do you want? I'm here to buy the What do you want? Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Let me see. These rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems? I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? Our sales final, no returns. <laughs> of course it is. 
Hell yeah, look at Sly. Oh shit, look at that goatee. Slow motion? Cool. Really? What? The only thing is, I don't go slow in time no more. Oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, the big boss! Whoa! That bitch ugly! Hell, ooh, look at that chin! Hell no! Of course. I can't just have a good outfit. What happened to slide through when I can have outfits like that? Way to go, Sly. Now you better get going. Sly, take your I get it, Bentley. Sly, Sly, Sly! Don't get caught, Sly! Sly, Sly, I swear, don't get caught, Sly! Sly, Sly, be careful, Sly, Sly! I know you can't do this, Sly, 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 Sly! I love you, Sly. Cherry, you are truly one of a kind. My goodness. <laughs> What's with the hair? We trying to do two face? So, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course. Wait, tell me that the operation is going according to plan. Of you just talked right over I don't know if that was intentional or oh, the game's just messing up I don't know my wealth and power will be unstoppable okay. unstoppable <laughs> this one tinsy little problem <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees but our supplies are running low the one who calls himself the panther seems to work best when I feed him Gah, scorpion claws disgusting <laughs> yeah, yeah. I shall have some delivered immediately whatever it takes to keep these vermin working oh and oh god this guy's an ass guys, if they don't capture Cooper, keep it and, and then execute it that's no one north that is no one north I know that's his voice Uh, seriously, like, you know, God, what was I saying? That's Noah North. I mean, holy shit. He voices two characters in this game. He voices the first and last boss of this game. That is insane. He got a big ass paycheck from this. I bet he did. Uh, stunning? Is that the, quite the word I'll use? It's quite. Uh. Hmm. I just had my tail shampooed. Yeah, watch what you sneezing, man. You ain't trying to get trying to get sick out here. You ain't trying to catch that, you know, that <coughs> you know, virus. <coughs> that cough was real. What do you think of this little sand? Slide just chilling right there? My music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. They did not. I need to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good. 
because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it, and our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, uh, fine. I will send a delivery boy. For delivery? Sly, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hell yeah. Camel cheese, that's all good as hell, though. I wonder if I could train the guards to make peanut butter. So, any more requests? Oh, no, sweetums, I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Magnifique! This is one lost, itty bitty little thing. <laughs> the one called <laughs> the lamb <laughs> seems to favor cobra tails. And you know how troublesome those are to obtain. Fine, you shall have them. But I Fine, have you shall have them. Papers quickly. Boy, I'd hate to be the guy that has to collect the cobra tail. <sighs> what a delightful day for a stroll. Just said that. But I've got a crazy idea. That outfit may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like La Paradox and Miss Decibel wouldn't know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. Uh huh. Just to ensure it's foolproof. Oh I'm God. Use my no. Fly, don't say it. Italian accent. I say That's... crazy, Sly. That's of course, you can, come on, this is slide we're talking about. I know, Bentley, my god. I know. Stop telling me things I already know. Can I steal things still? Yep, I can still take money. Even though I don't have a cane, it's just a stick, but uh, okay. And who is this little peepsqueak? Yes, identify yourself immediately. It's a me, uh, the delivery boy. You are called? Hmm, I don't recognize your scruffy features. How do you not? The boys are out to see you. There's something about the snake bites. <laughs> something, something about the snake bites. No, uh, I've been talking like this of my whole life. <laughs> oh, no, I see. <coughs> if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why the panther loves the scorpion or claws? Hmm. He appears to be legitimate. Even the X-Men the other two? Thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. I will go my take my time. Why is a good thing we're in Arabia? Because in Italy that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just jealous, Billy. You're just jealous that I can I can pull this off and you can't. That's all it is. Jealous, I say. God, that video went way longer than I thought it was going to. Check out the trophy list for some even tougher objectives. Ooh. I don't want to do more trophies hunting. I don't like it. It's very annoying. Oh, we get to play a Sleem? What? Sleem? Come on. I can't do it. I have to wait till the next time on the Sea Monkey game.